Hi everyone, this is Andrea from Hortosonic Club here in London and today I want to share a very simple exercise that is helping me a lot getting my weak hand, in this case my right hand, up to speed. So first of all I want to say I'm not a drum teacher, I barely consider myself a drummer, but I think there's a value in sharing experiences between students and learning from other students and teaching each others as we progress in our journey to become uh, better drummers. So I've picked up drumming very late, I have to say, and I've always been struggling with all sorts of things. I find this instrument incredibly difficult, but extremely fun. I have been practicing all sorts of exercises and rudiments and coordination exercises, all sorts you can possibly imagine. But the problem I always had is that my weak hand is extremely underdeveloped and is never going to catch up with my strong hand. So everything I do, my weak hand will always be a drag. This is particularly useful for uh, single stroke rolls and double stroke rolls to get them consistent. So the exercise is extremely simple. I use my metronome here and I really recommend this app called Metro Timer. It's very useful especially for drummers because it has a timer, it has lots of features for subdivisions and things like that. So I'm setting it at 98 BPM I have to say that I started this exercise at 90 BPM and I gradually build up uh, strength and, and stamina. So I set to 16 notes. So the exercise is extremely simple. First stroke with my strong hand, three strokes with my weak hand, like this. So I set the timer to 10 minutes and I do 10 minutes straight. It's really helping me a lot to develop speed and strength with my uh, weak hand. And there are some variations to this exercise, which is quite boring, I admit. One is to take out your strong hand, in my case left hand, because I'm a lefty, and just focus on your uh, weak hand. And perhaps instead of doing your first stroke, uh, you use the hi-hat. So in, the, in this case, again, we focus on your less developed side of your body. So I do, I start with um, maybe two minutes of um, this exercise and then I switch to these little variations. Okay, so this is one. Another one would be to move your hands or your weak hand. If you have, for example, a tom, in this case, I'm using my fantastic Nord Drum 3 uh, as a secondary practice pad. And of course you can use the kick as well, kick and hats and your weak hand. So that's it, it's extremely simple, but the key is to do, to do this for 10 minutes straight, maybe even longer if you can, and to choose a speed that you can keep consistent for that amount of time without you know, burning out. And um, what I recommend as well, you don't want to get any pain, but a little discomfort. In my case, I get a bit of discomfort here by the end of it, uh, a bit of aching, that's fine. But as soon as you, as you start having a lot of pain, just stop, slow it down, take a rest. Especially if you develop like pain here, sometimes I have. And so then I take some days off and I don't do this exercise. So you don't want to push yourself too much. But a little bit of aching is good. This means that your muscles are working. 
so that's it. I hope this is going to help you as much as it's helping me. And uh, let's keep on practicing, eh?